Hi, I'm Jeffrey Smith, and welcome to my Note for Note song lessons. Today, I will be playing I Saw the Light. I will be breaking this song down into four major sections. The first verse, first chorus, second verse, and second chorus. I will be breaking these four major sections down further into four smaller sections called the A, B, C, and D section. And at the end of the video, there's a backing track that you can practice along with. So now, let's listen to the video all the way through, and then I'll break it down for you note for note. So, grab your guitar and let's get started. One, two, three, four. <laughs> First verse, part A. We're going to start off on the fifth string, fifth fret. We're going to hit that three times, two down strokes and one up stroke. Then we're going to go to the fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, fifth fret, fourth string, seventh fret, slide to the ninth. So that part sounds like. Okay. Then we're going to go to the fifth string, fifth fret again. Hit it three times with two down strokes and one up stroke. Then we're going to go to the fifth string, seventh fret, and the fourth string, fifth fret. And the whole part there sounds like this. First verse, part B. We're going to be doing some double stops, which is hitting two strings at the same time. And I will be using my uh, middle and ring finger for that, just to pull up on the strings. Like you can use the, the pick and one of your fingers, or you can just use the pick itself if you want to. Just hitting two strings at once. Whatever's easier for you. Okay, we're going to start off on the 4th string 7th fret, 3rd string 5th fret. Okay, and then we're going to start off on the 4th string 5th fret, 3rd string 5th fret. And then we're going to go to the 5th string 7th fret, and back to the... 4th string 5th fret, 3rd string 5th fret, and do that twice. So, so far we've got... Okay, one more time. Okay, then we're going to go to the 4th string 7th fret, slide to the ninth. 3rd string 7th fret, 
fourth string ninth fret slide back to the seventh fourth string fifth fret fifth string seventh fret fourth string seventh fret fifth string seventh fret and then we're going to end up on the fourth string fifth fret and that phrase would be so the whole phrase would be First verse, part C. This is actually the same as the first verse, part A, but we'll go back over here. We're going to be on the fifth string, fifth fret. You're going to hit that three times, two down strokes, and with one up stroke of the pick. And then we're going to go to the fifth string, seventh fret. Then to the fourth string, fifth fret. Then to the uh, fourth string seventh fret slide to the ninth so we've got okay then we're going to go to the fifth string fifth fret three times again and then to the fifth string seventh fret and the fourth string fifth fret so the whole part there sounds like this First verse, part D. We're going to start off on the fifth, the fourth string, fifth fret, slide to the seventh fret, then the third string, seventh fret, third string, ninth fret, fourth string, eighth fret, slide to the seventh, and then pull off to the fifth fret. So, so far we've got. Okay, then. It's going to be the 5th string 7th fret, then the 4th string 5th fret. So, so far we've got... Okay, then the 5th string 8th fret, 5th string 7th fret, pull off to the 5th fret, and then the... 6th string 7th fret fifth string fifth fret sixth string sixth fret pull off to the fifth fret and then ends on the sixth string third fret so the last part would be uh, I tend to pull up on the strings with my middle finger, kind of give it a little more of a pop. But the whole phrase there would be. First course, part A. We're going to start off on the 4th string open, hammer on to the 2nd fret. Then we're going to start double stops again, 2 strings at the same time. We're going to go with the 3rd string open and 2nd string open. So we've got... Okay, now we're still doing double stops here. We're going to be on the 2nd string 3rd fret, 3rd string 2nd fret. We're going to stay in this position for a little bit here. We're going to do a full bend on the uh, third string, second fret. Keep your uh, your uh, second string, third fret in the same spot. We're just moving our middle finger up on a full bend there, like, like that. So so far we've got, and we're going to do that twice. So we've got. <laughs> 
Okay, then we're going to go back to the this position again with our uh, middle finger on the third string second fret and the second string third fret. We're just going to hit that one time. And then we're going to go to the then we're going to bend that up again with our middle finger, a full step, and then release the middle finger. So it's like that. And then we're going to end up with the third string open, second string, third fret. Keep your ring finger where it was at. So, so far we've got. One more time slowly. And at full speed it sounds like this. Continue first chorus part A. We're going to be doing that double stop again with the second string third fret, third string second fret. Do a full step bend and stop at the top there. Okay, then we're going to go to the you're going to hit that again, and this time pull off your second string to open. So we've got, okay, fourth string, second fret. Third string open, hammer onto the second fret, and then pull back off to open. So we've got. Fourth string, second fret. Then we're going to end with the double stop with the third string open, second string, third fret. So that whole part of the phrase goes. And at regular speed would be. And the whole part, first course part A would sound like this. First course part B. We're going to start off with the uh, second string first fret, third string open. We hit them at the same time, and we're going to hammer on on the third string second fret. So we've got like that. Then we're going to go back to the third string open, second string first first fret. So we've got okay. Then we're going to go to the. fourth string second fret then back to the third string open first second string first fret hammer back onto the second fret and then back open to the third string open second string first fret so we've got And then we're going to do that again with the second string first fret, third string open, hammer on to the second, and then back to the third string open, second string first first fret, and then fourth string second fret, and then fourth string open. So we've got. So at regular speed it would be. We're going to go to the fourth string open. We're going to hit that three times. And then we're going to go to the 
fourth string, second fret, third string open, third string, second fret, slide to the fourth. So that sounds like this. Then we're going to go to the fourth string open again three times. I'm doing the same thing we did at the first of the video with the two down strokes and the one up stroke. And then we're going to go to the fourth string, second fret, and the third string open. So we've got. Part D. We're going to start here on the third string, second fret, slide to the fourth, second string, third fret, second string, fifth fret. So far we've got. Okay, third string, third fret, slide to the second, and then pull off to open. And then the fourth string, second fret, and then the third string open. So the little phrase there sounds like this. Okay. We're go okay. Now we're going to do some more double stops. We're going to start on the third string, sixth fret, seventh, second string, seventh fret. Slide them up one fret to the third string, seventh fret and the 2nd string 8th fret, so we've got, okay, then we're going to go to the, we're going to keep our ring finger where it's at on the 2nd string 8th fret, and we're going to go to the 3rd string 6th fret, 3rd string 5th fret, and keeping our, uh, we're going to be, we're still going to be on the 2nd string 8th fret, so we've got, Then we're going to go to the 3rd string 5th fret, 2nd string 5th fret, and then it ends on the 3rd string 3rd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret. We're going to just hammer on on the 3rd string to the 4th fret. So the whole phrase there goes like this. And at regular speed it would be... The whole phrase for the first course, part D, would be. Mm -hmm. 